Dear friends, this is the sixth or seventh of these visits we've had concerning uh, the pandemic and how our church is responding to it, how we uh, would behave toward one another and live as a church during the time of, uh, of shutting down for a while and maintaining distance, and then how we have begun over the last several months to reopen and to live together, to worship together, to visit together, and to care for one another in person. The response of our diocese has been remarkable. We have worked collegially as friends, as brothers and sisters, to create a safe environment for everyone, to uh, avoid the mistakes that have been made in many places of getting too close or breathing or coughing on others, to establish some guidelines in a very general sort of way for our church. All along, though, we have stressed, and I stress to you again today, that one size doesn't fit all. We're going to be collegial. Our priests, our, victor, our vicars, our rectors, our vestries and lay leadership are going to continue to work together in each church to make the decisions that are right for that congregation. Now, recently, the Center for Disease Control has loosened some of the standards on how we live together in public. Uh, new guidelines have to do with the need for most of us in most venues not wear masks and that those who have been fully vaccinated don't need to be concerned as much about keeping social distance. I've been to church now for a number of weeks on visitations where I have seen these things working themselves out. And I have to tell you, it's refreshing. It is heartwarming. It is life-giving to be in church and see the smiles of other people, to be able to shake hands occasionally, to be able to hug them, to be present incarnationally with one another. And I want to hold the opportunity out to our whole diocese today, to our lay leaders, to our clergy, to begin to think and to pray about what's right in your congregation keeping in mind these new, more liberating guidelines that have been given to us, and thinking carefully about the needs of your congregation and your community and what is best for you. Again, we're not a one-size-fits-all diocese. We're a diocese in which these decisions have been made all along carefully and prayerfully and church by church. Think about distance. Think about masks. Think about coffee, choir. Think about even how we receive communion and begin to pray about what will be right in your congregation on each of these issues as we go forward. I'm pleased as always to consult with you and give you my advice on these issues. Don't hesitate to call me or speak to me about it. But know this, know that our church, our diocese, trusts local leadership. You've gotten us through this so well so far, and I know that will continue. I want to invite you today, because Pentecost is coming up in just a couple of days, that life-giving and energy-giving celebration when the Holy Spirit was bestowed on the church, you might want to listen to my Faithful Friday presentation that'll be out tomorrow at noon on Friday. It's about Pentecost, and it tells us how God gives us confidence in the church and as individuals, and we should all continue now to live in that confidence that God loves us and asks us to live out our love for one another.